Hi, I'm Mark McKillier with LiveAnabolic.com. And guess what? Tonight, I want to talk to you about how to increase our body's natural production of testosterone by getting better quality sleep. Now, I've shot some other videos where I talk about why testosterone is so important, especially for us older guys. All right, so this is not going to be one of those videos. This is going to be about how to use sleep to increase the quality and the amount of testosterone that our bodies just produce. Um, anyway, guys, uh, most people don't realize that the vast majority of our, of our testosterone that's produced throughout the day is made while we're asleep at night, all right? So that's why this is really important. So guys, if you're routinely shortchanging yourself and only getting four or five hours of sleep, okay, then guess what? You're not just screwing up your body's ability to rest and recover, okay, physically, but you're also screwing up your body's ability to produce the most testosterone possible, okay? So, I'm gonna give you some ideas, all right? Some of these are real straightforward, some of these things you've heard before, and some of these I think are gonna be, you know, pretty new to you, all right? So the first one, guys, you've probably heard this before, but try to keep to a schedule. Your body really does like being on a schedule. So, I mean, try to go to bed at roughly the same time every night and try to get up at roughly the same time in the morning, okay? That gets you going on a cycle, all right? And your body just functions better. Everything tends to go better when you're on a schedule, all right? Another one, and of course, this is this is obvious, okay, but I think a lot of people don't pay that much attention to it, and, and, and that is the light in your bedroom, okay? Um, you got to make it as dark as possible. Now, I'm lucky, okay? I don't have, you know, other people, you know, in the house with TVs going, or I don't have a wife in bed next to me, you know, with the light on reading a book, okay, while I'm trying to go to sleep. So, light really does and even doesn't matter if your eyes are closed it doesn't matter your body you know the, the light penetrates your eyelids and your body can tell what's going on and it just doesn't like to go into a deep restful sleep when it can sense light coming in um another thing guys get plenty of exercise all right and there's two types more or less we got the aerobic exercise and we got weightlifting resistance training okay so i get it a lot of times you don't have time to do both, no problem, but if you don't have time and you can only pick one, studies show that weight training, resistance training, is actually more beneficial to getting good sleep at night than aerobic exercise, okay? So, stick with that workout schedule. Don't skip on your workouts, whether it's at home or at the gym, all right? And then another thing, guys, is the nutrition that you eat at night, okay? There's a couple little simple things we can do as far as helping our body go to sleep and get a better, deeper, restful sleep, okay? And that is try to get in a little bit of saturated fat late at night, an hour, maybe two hours before you go to bed. And the reason we want to get a little bit of saturated fat is because your body has to have that to increase its production of cholesterol. And this is the good HDL cholesterol. And why do we want that? Well, guess what? You have to have that for your body to produce testosterone, okay? So just a little bit, remember, because fat is really dense when it comes to calories. So if you're trying to lose weight, we won't want to be taking in a whole lot of fat before we go to bed at night. So, you know, a slice of cheese or some some olive oil, some almonds, something like that, some milk, okay, dairy products have, have, have uh, saturated fat in, something like that is gonna help your body produce testosterone more efficiently. Now, we can talk about supplements, okay, some micronutrients. Both magnesium and zinc can be helpful here, all right? It's not everybody's gonna benefit from this the same way. Some of you guys that are actually low in those micronutrients will probably see a, a great effect. Some people that have a really good, well-balanced diet probably won't notice anything. So zinc is really important for our body to have to produce testosterone, whereas the magnesium is more of a sedative, okay? So those two really inexpensive supplements, you know, together at night can possibly help you get better quality sleep. They're cheap. Give them a try. You never know if it's going to help you. Um, another thing is the temperature of your bedroom, okay? If you're like me, guys, you like it cold. I mean, the colder, the better, all right? So studies show that when the temperature is low, and typically, you know, 64 to 70, but, you know, 
for me, the lower the better. Your body actually does get slightly more efficient at producing testosterone. So you'll produce a little bit more testosterone when it's cold at night, and guess what else? You get the added benefit of breathing in all that cold air, your body has to warm it up, and that takes energy, all right? Then you exhale that warm air, and then you breathe in some more cold air. So guess what? End of the night, you actually burn more calories when it's cold in your bedroom than when it's, you know, warmer, say 72, 74 degrees. Another thing, guys, that uh, I bet a lot of you guys are really bad at, and that is you need to de-stress before you go to bed, okay? I've actually shot some videos on how to stretch before you go to bed. That's a great way to kind of, you know, let things, you know, go from the day, all right? Stop thinking about work. Stop thinking about all the things that you got to do. You know, it's hard. I get it, okay? I'm not particularly good at it either. But just, you got to find a way to wind down, you know, during those last hour or two before you go to bed. Otherwise, you're not going to get that nice deep sleep. Matter of fact, it may cause slight insomnia. It may make it harder for you to actually get to sleep in the first place, okay? So de-stress, okay, both physically and mentally. And stretching can be a really good way to do that. So check out some of those videos I shot on stretching before you go to bed. Uh, and then another one, guys, this is the one I, this is the rule I break all the time, okay? I'm terrible at this. You need to try to stop watching TV, okay, or the computer before you go to bed. Man, I'll, I'm always watching the TV, all right? Not so much the computer. So, guys, the reason why that's important is because both your computer and your TV emit blue light. And guess what? Your body says, you know, I got this light coming in. It's got all these blue, um, it's, it, it has a lot of blue spectrum, okay, in it, and it thinks, it's outside. It thinks you're awake and it's sun sunlight. So there's some filters you can have. Matter of fact, on your phone and your computer, you can actually get in. There's some settings. You can actually turn off the blue light. Now, it'll make it look a little weird, okay? But experiments, that may help with some of you guys. I don't think it's going to help with everybody. But if your body is particularly susceptible to blue light, okay, that may be causing some problems. And then finally, the last thing, guys, background noise. I love this one, okay? So, you you know, try to get some white noise going. Now, you know, there's some apps on your phone that will just emit some really cool stuff. I mean, you got rainforest sounds, you got the ocean, you got the little babbling brook, the stream, you know, rainfall, you know, in a rainforest. Um, all those things, just turn them on real quietly next to your bed, see how it affects you, okay? Personally, I use my ceiling fan. I, I have to have some kind of a background, you know, white noise going, and my ceiling fan is fantastic. Plus, guess what? It helps keep my room cooler, okay? So I crank the ceiling fan. Even in the winter, when it's freezing cold outside, I have my ceiling fan on high. So guys, bunch of different ways that you know, you can experiment with getting better quality sleep, and that may be the thing that's holding you back from producing the most testosterone that your body could naturally produce with all the variables, you know, in the exact right position, you know. So guys, thanks for watching the video. Please be sure and share this with some of your buddies. I guarantee you, you got some friends out there that are my age or your age that need to learn some of this information. Also, hit that little thumbs up button, give us a like, post some comments below, and remember guys, always stick with it and never give up on yourself.